This episode has been brought to you by GoDaddy. Visit GoDaddy.com and use offer code JEFF20OFF or JEFF295 for great discounts. And by BitGravity, the exclusive HD provider of the Tech Buzz Network. For live streaming of mission critical events, trust BitGravity. Visit BitGravity.com for more information. And by New Tech, the makers of the TriCaster 40. Stun your viewers, not your accountant. Visit NewTech.com and find out more about all the TriCaster line. Me, hey, we're live, baby. It's episode 21 of the Jeff Adams Show on the Tech Buzz Network. You know, I don't know if I'm in a great mood or a foul mood. I'm kind of in between. I'm kind of pissed off, kind of not. But uh, let me introduce my co-host in standard definition, as always, the Merry Monks of Love. Uh, yeah, I know how I'm feeling. I'm Merry, baby. And if you'd like to call into the Jeff Adams Show, it's one 547 8383 And I hear that listeners on WLMN in West Virginia are joining us. Give us a call, one 547 8383 We'd love to hear from you on the Jeff Adams Show. So uh, what's wrong with you today? We're going to start well, this out on this note, really? That's I'm, what you're going to do? That's what you're offering up? I'm going to start off on this note. i got to introduce what? the Wizard of Broadcast Magic, Stephen Haywood. Oh. oh, making it all happen. Hey, guys. Hey, there he is. Hey, hey. Come on. Hey. Our so silent partner, the, the, the keeper of the magic. I'm so sorry that uh, I interrupted the introduction. No, oh, he's got a, you know, he's got a tough job. I mean, for crying out loud, he puts up with us and, you know, mean tweets and all kinds of stuff. I, I, I just, I feel, I feel bad for him actually. Cause you know, he called me, I think it was, you know, Tuesday I did um, broadcast now with him and uh, I'm just, I'm worried about him. I think he uh, could have like a mental breakdown or something. He went off on somebody. Just blew up, and I just texted him. I said, "Hey, man, you know, I care for you. I just don't want to see you in the street with some guns, you know, just shooting people, you know, because something just went wrong in your head." Ah, trolls, trolls. Now, now, is his blow up? Is his blow up in standard definition or high definition? I just sure, want to know. I'm sure with Stephen Haywood to be, you know, 1080. All right. All the well, then maybe, then maybe I'm interested in that. And so, where can people, if they're listening to the radio, if they're listening to WLMN? Where can they view this magical, magical program? Like if they want to get online, it's the Jeff Adams show TV, correct? Yeah. You're, you're asking me, I just got this news like in pre-show. I don't even know. No, I'm, talk, I no, know I'm taking, no, I'm, I'm pushing people to the website here. Don't interrupt the professional. Just answer the question. No. Yes. No. The Jeff Adams Show TV. That's where you can see this thing live. That's where you can see the archive. The Tech Buzz Network. Come on, I'm trying to I'm trying to work this. You're working it, baby. You're trying working. to have you know a little banter with the host. Like I don't know the answer to my own questions. You're All working. right, what do you got lined up for us today? Come on, you take it away now. What am I got lined up for today? I just I don't know, man. I should be in a I should be in a great mood. I mean, like tomorrow we're going to the beach for the weekend, and then you know the following weekend I'm I'm going to New York, man, and I'm going to go hang with my brother for the weekend in New York. So I should be, I should be in a great mood, but I'm not, I'm just like borderline. You know, I'm just, I'm just, what, you, you is, this, is this more, is this more midlife crisis? I mean, where, where's this coming from? It's no, just I'm a just, fog, a funk. You can't identify it. You can't pinpoint. I can't, identify, I can't identify it. I should feel good. I'm working out. Do you you're know, taking your, you're taking your medication, taking my medication. I just, having one of those days the last two days you didn't have to you didn't have to urinate with any strangers recently no i'm good there i'm just I, you just have one of those days and i'm hopefully you know tomorrow it'll all be different and everything will be fine back to normal but I just i'm just agitated you know mm. the, we got this cat last week and the you know i think the honeymoon's over with the cat mm. uh, it's just i, I don't know the the, the 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 cat crap outside the litter box um runs around and I, I just, this is the kind of mood I'm in because in the middle of the night, the cat jumped on my stomach and just clawed me to death. So next week I'm getting the cat declawed. So the cat, you know, cats sleep during the day, right? So he was just sleeping. I was working downstairs. I saw him sleep on the couch. So you know what I did? I just screamed at the top of my lungs and touched him just because that's what he did to me in the middle of the night. You know, <laughs> I said, Hey, how's that feel, buddy? 
You know? You know what? You should show him who's boss and and, and sew his anus shut. <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. Why don't they do, <laughs> they do that at the veterinarian clinic? Hey, you get your and sh- his anus sh- shut. <laughs> shut. They should do that. What's up with that bush in the in the front of you? Oh, you're talking about my my plant on the camera there? No, the, I, the one in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about my face, my goatee? Or are you talking about my plant? In in in. See, usually the plant's in the background. And yeah, you you have your plant in the background, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit for our viewers online at the Jeff Adams Show TV and put the plant in the foreground. In the foreground. Well, I just feel like I'm, you know, with you being a standard definition for the last week, I just feel like I'm talking to some eyes. I mean, all I see is some eyes behind a bush. And it's just, I don't know, just weird. A hat and some eyes. I can't see. You're really camouflaged behind that bush. (laughs) As he just sits in silence and frozen mode. Hopefully that's not a Skype closing. You, You think, oh, yes, it is. There you go. I was like, man, he is. He is doing a dirty nasty to me. You know, that's that's technology for you. Skype. God bless Skype. Because I was saying I was saying, you know, he looks camouflaged. If you're listening to this on audio, he looks camouflaged behind the bush and he just froze up. I go, either he's giving me the silent treatment or what's going on here. Anywho, we'll wait for Eric to come back, but the same old, same old going on here on the Jeff Adams show. But I was saying I was in, you know, I'm just in this foul mood. And I, I don't know what it is. It's just one of those, the last two days just haven't been that great for me. It's been kind of up and down, you know, this roller coaster going up. And I come down, I go up, I go down. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, lots of great things happening. I'm going to the beach tomorrow, spend three days with the family. So that should be fun. And the following week, going to New York. So that should be a blast. And uh, I should be in a great mood. You know, I'm living life, but uh, it's just tough. And uh, I'm really sore. I've been uh, working out extremely hard. I have a, uh, what you call a uh, personal trainer. And uh, it's been a challenge. You know, my wife's been seeing this personal trainer for a couple weeks now, and uh, she's been training with him. And uh, she said, hey, fat slob, I think you should, I think you should join us. So I, de- I signed up like last, uh, last week, I signed up with a personal trainer. And uh, so I'm sore for, for the thing was Monday, Wednesday, I've been working out and uh, I'm extremely sore. This guy is working me, working me hard, straight up hard. And I've lost so far on my diet that I've been doing for like a month and a half, I've lost 14 pounds so far. Actually, I've, I've actually stepped ahead with actually working out now. I, I, I got around to the 250 mark. Uh, and I was just was stagnant. I lost 12 pounds pretty quick and I just couldn't lose any more because I wasn't exercising. So got a personal trainer, started exercising. And let me tell you, man, I haven't worked this hard in, uh, I don't know when, I mean, I felt like a little four-year-old trying to do a push up my arms were complete jelly. He goes, stand there for one minute in push-up position. Couldn't do it. I mean, my, I would, my, my arms would buckle. And, uh, I don't know if you've ever been there before where you've, you've, you're getting worked out. You put your arms in flat. You got to stand in push-up position and one uh, for one minute. I couldn't do it. He had me do like, uh, several sit-ups in one minute and, um, and then some push-ups as well. And uh, was struggling, was struggling hard, very, very hard. And let's see, Eric's having problems reconnecting. The beauty of mobile studios. But anyways, uh, we ha- I have, uh, actually, I have this guy I'm going to named Driz uh, to work out. And uh, he's, uh, he's this interesting character. You know, he's this buff guy owns a gym and the gym's like 24, you know, it's open 24 hours. And, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's, he's a very interesting guy. He's always clowning around. I don't know if he's ever serious or he's joking around. Like he, he busts my wife's chops all the time. When I met him like a week and a half ago, like him and my wife are like this, 
they just they completely butt heads and it's it's pretty funny to watch but with him with me it's i don't know if he's serious or he's getting around he's just bizarre and if uh and if uh steven has that picture of him let's uh go and post that picture of his facebook page and i'll show you a picture of my wonderful friend at the workout facility 20 uh, 24 hour fitness is what they call it and his name is driz the driz and so once we get that picture up he'll get it up but uh yeah things are going good what's going on in the chat room ron knight's in the chat room mark's in the chat room classics in the chat room phil it solutions homie what's up homie homie in the house so anyways, I don't know if any of you guys in the chat room have ever worked out before, uh, but it's brutal. Uh, I've, it's going to be my third day uh, tomorrow. And um, yeah, Ron, actually, Ron just said in the chat room, he says, are you all alone right now? Yes, it's a very uncomfortable feeling to be all alone right now. I mean, I'm begging, trying to swim, swim around. I can't even get Steven to say, throw me a bone. So I'm just swimming solo here. Um, trying to maintain and keep the show going and uh yeah ron ron says he hasn't worked out for 30 years that's that's probably i don't know if i waited that long uh, hey. to work out but uh ron it's been uh it's been about uh probably three years for me so uh was that eric down the line hello hey eric your skype's all jacked up huh yeah, it is. See, this is why this program is unwatchable. <laughs> exactly. It's the standard definition. The the uh, the geek gods that uh, banned you from standard definition. Now they're gonna they're gonna chastise us for you being on the phone line. Sound like crap. I can't listen to it. So we we can't get the balance here. So, anyways, Eric. Um, basically, I was just yeah, I was going on. You know, I've been working out, maintaining my diet. Uh, doing what doing what I could possibly do to lose more weight, and uh, I, I I got a personal trainer. His name is Driz, and uh, how are you coming along with your diet? Well, I'm not doing great with the diet at all, but I have been working out. I worked out three times this week, but I just can't keep eating that Metafast Moon food. I, I keep getting tempted by all these different uh, brownies and pizza and. Uh, even fish tacos, man. I, I just, I can't seem to stay on it. Yeah, there's, there's the picture. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't see right now. But this guy named Driz, this guy is a character, man, and this guy will destroy you. I mean, he, he actually has shirts that says his name is Driz, my personal trainer. He actually has shirts that says Driz Nation on it. That's how serious he is. I, I think he played some NFL football. Um, he kind of talked a little bit about it. He said, what in, what's your NFL team? I said, well, I guess I'm going for the Patriots this year. I really don't have a team. And he said, well, the Patriots, the Patriots suck, man. They cut me. And so this guy's a drill sergeant, getting me and my wife in shape. I'm working on my third day of uh, going to Merrick, and uh, I'm not looking forward to it, man. I am so sore. Are you sore with uh, working out? Well, I, I haven't been lifting any weights. I've just been doing, like, the old man workout on one of those little uh, – pre-core machines, you know, where it's like a low impact. You know, I've been burning like 600 calories staying on that thing for an hour, but uh, I haven't been lifting any weights. The, so the moon food, you kind of gave up on the moon food? Well, it's not that I gave up on it. It's just that uh, I have no I have no self-control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it, I don't think I... I don't think I do either. I, I was talking to Driz. Driz goes, hey, it was like yesterday. He goes, what'd you have for breakfast? I said, a cup of coffee. He goes, you had a what? I said, a cup of coffee. He says, you got to eat, man. You got to eat. Your body needs fuel. I said, I said, I'll have a muffin. He goes, a muffin? A muffin? I was like, yeah, I'm going to have a muffin. I'll have a muffin. He's like, no, you're not going to have no muffin. And so he's, I, it just. He and just now I lost back. audio. And now I lost audio. Did you lose, you still there? He's not there. Oh, now I'm back. Oh, wow. You, you ever you ever get that feeling, Eric? I feel like right now, <laughs> if you were like a little kid and you walk up on the stage, you know, you're at a school recital 
and the curtains open wide up. I mean, just, and there's like a spotlight on you and you forget your lines. You just sit there <laughs> and you panic. I think I was like drowning for like two and a half minutes. I was trying to get like Steven's attention. And I was like, Hey, I was like trying to keep the show going. And I just was like a rabbit in the headlights. Like, Oh my gosh, I'm by myself. Like Ron said in the chat room, he goes, are you by yourself right now? I said, yes, Ron. But now I'm not. Ron's talking to me in the chat room. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been an interesting day. Uh, so you, so how many pounds have you dropped now, Eric? Uh, I, have I have dropped, dropped no, no pounds. Pound. None? So where None. are you at right with your weight? Where are you with your weight right now? Hello. Are you there? My video's back. Oh, wow. He's back. So how much, so Eric, how much weight have you lost? I've lost absolutely no weight. Wow. So where, <laughs> how many pounds are you now? Oh, you're going to make me say it? Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Oh, I don't want to say it. You say it's it. It's too real. It's like if I say it, I, I, I make it real. I don't, I don't want to admit it, man. It is real. Come on. I just said, you know, I was 250. I'm 248 now. So yeah, but you're a Sasquatch. You're a giant. You're a tall person. But it's all in my belly. Come on. This is going to help us to maintain and do this. Come on. I, I'm a little troll. I'm like Barney Rubble. If I tell you how much I weigh, you're just going to you're gonna be disgusted with me. I'm embarrassed. It's a shaming thing. Don't do this to me. What are you, a woman? Get that bush away from your face. <laughs> I'm hiding behind it. I was like... I don't want to tell you how much I weigh. I don't want to just... Uh, Maybe if secret. I stay behind the plant, you'll go away. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you don't want to, you, you know, you, you want to be a little boy and not weigh in. That's cool. It's cool okay, man. I'll weigh in. I'll weigh in. All right. 250, 253. There you go. And wait, wait, you're going to get there. The moon food, if you're exercising, that's what's important. And then watch your calorie intake. You're going to be good. You're going to drop 10 in the next week, right? Uh, I'm going to get back on it, man. I mean, this is my, this is my motto. You know, th there's no such thing as a failure who keeps trying. Coasting to the bottom is the only disgrace. I am going to keep trucking, my brother, and yeah. I will be back with some kind of news. The good news that I have this week is I worked out three times. Well, I'm, con I'm concerned. I'm going to the beach this weekend and I'm concerned that, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna exercise before I go tomorrow. I'm gonna get fit as a personal trainer. And then, you know, I've got to like at least try to run or something at the beach. But uh, you know, when you go off, you just don't watch what you're eating. So I'm concerned with that, you know, but Eric, I'm gonna ask you a question here. When, I'll tell when you, you know, I just gotta tell you, this is how bad it is for me. Like I, I went and worked out this morning. I did like 45 minutes on this pre-core machine. And then, uh, what was that? 400, pa uh, 400, uh, calories that I, uh, that I burned. And, and then I went to Dunkin' Donuts and had a bagel sandwich, a donut and a cup of coffee with hash browns. It's like, I just, I, I undo everything that I just did. Yeah. It, you, you feel that way, but you, you just gotta, it's just like when you fall down, you gotta get back up. And that's right? what I'm going to do. So what, what were you saying? I just had to let, give you a snapshot of my stupidity. Well, what I was saying is I got to a point too. It's like my wife and I think I'm really hard on myself. I just realized how much extra weight I have on top. And it's just one of those moments you're just like driving along and, and you know, it's like when I ran over these railroad tracks and I felt my boobs jiggle <laughs> and I was like, man, I could really use one of those sports bras, the bro, what Kramer was talking about. Uh, on Seinfeld, I was like, you know, I was kid, I was kidding around with my wife. I was like, you know, wouldn't it be funny if I actually with Driz, I walked in there and I took one of your sports bras, put them on, walked in there Ugh. with no shirt and go, let's go, let's Ugh. go, Driz. <sighs> That'd be pretty, pretty disturbing. But you know, it's, I, 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 I don't want to live this way. You know, I, I don't want to have this extra weight right here in, and in my gut area anymore. And I didn't really yeah. think. You're kind of like in denial when you when you when you have it. It's like you look in the mirror, like eh, I still look the same. Yeah. And, and and the crazy thing was, I was like working out, and uh, I was like looking around. He's like, you can do a couple more. And there's all these fit people in the gym. I mean, they're just. Yeah. Kind of, and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, man, I look. I'm like one that. of them. Yeah. yeah. You you're not one of them. And then you look in the mirror and you go, what the hell am I doing here? 
you know, <laughs> just go, what the hell am I doing here? And you, and, and you, and you work out, you work out for two days and you want to see the results and you just, you're just not. And it's kind of disheartening because you're no. starving yourself and you're like, man, I really want this, but I can't have this. I'm working out. You know, it's just horrible, man. I just, yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just no fun. It's a lot funner getting the pounds on than it is taking them off. And it's easy to get them. You can work for a week and take off like a, a pound or two, you know, and then in one day you eat something wrong and they're all back. <laughs> yeah. Know? It's, I, 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 I don't know. You know thinking, my, go ahead. My moment of realization, yours, yours came for your, uh, your jiggly chest or with your jiggly chest and, and mine came and I was just standing there and I real like I was standing up and I realized that I could feel one part of my belly touching another part of my belly. <laughs> wow. And that was when I'm just like, Oh, I'm disgusting. I'm so disgusting. The, the moment when you have, you know, two, you have a, uh, a crevice inside your, your belly when something <laughs> yeah, crawls out, like, like in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My lord. I'm thinking about, you know, have some fun with the diet. I'm thinking about trying like the vodka diet or something. You think that'll work? Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't work for me cuz then you get a you get uh you get a little buzz and then you start not caring. And then you just like then you get the munchies a little bit later and you're like, "Hey, let's go. Get no to Taco Bell. You drink one of those volcano burritos." If you if you if you drink vodka though, I mean, do you get hungry? I, mean, I guess you can get those hundred hundred calorie packs or something. Hey, there you go, vodka <laughs> diet. Is that a real thing? Lose three. <laughs> it says vodka diet. Lose three days in one week. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what I should do. Make it easier. What does that mean? Um, I I I don't know, man. It's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay trucking, man. I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. Hey, you're looking good. What, so what, what was the way in for you? I missed that. Uh, I'm 248. I started off at 263 or 262. I can't remember. It's 262, 263, something like that. That was like a month ago. So yeah, I guess. So what's the math on that? I can't do that. Uh, let's see. That's there 13, <laughs> 15 pounds. I started like one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't homeschool the kids. Hang on. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Hey, okay, you got it, yeah. buddy. Um, I know. Siri, so, what's 262, I mean 263 minus whatever he said. But you know what? I'm kind of like living through my kids. Like, Stacy was out of town yesterday, and I had to go, like, I had to figure out dinner. And normally, if Stacy was out of town, I was like, yes, food, now we're going to Chick-fil-A. And I was like, I can't do it. I wanted to do it so bad, I didn't do it. So I stopped by Publix, and I said, kids, I'm going to get you guys one of those uh, kids' cuisines. So I'll just, you know, heat it up. They like to get those nuggets or whatever. And I'm thinking, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to get sushi at Publix. Publix that makes great sushi, man. I mean, it's yeah, sometimes it's better than restaurants. And uh, so I get the sushi and then we're walking by all this stuff. And the kids go, can we get a honey bun? Can we get honey buns? I'm like, yeah, throw them in. It's like, and then can we get some brownies? Those little Debbie brownies? Yeah, throw them in. You know, it's like I'm living through my kids. Yeah, throw them oh, in. That's what you uh, meant by living through your kids. I, I'm living through my kids in a whole different way. Uh, like my kids do cross country and basketball and they eat the stuff that my wife has them eat. Uh, unlike me who won't, you know, just eat the stuff that she wants me to eat. I'll come home at night and eat that. But during the day, I'm like, eating other stuff, you know? And, uh, and so like I live through them going, gosh, you kids look great. Like you really reflect well on me as a father or Thanks. maybe it's your, maybe it's your mom. But yeah, because she's actually training for a marathon. That's that's the other side of the equation over there. So, but I can kind of mooch on that a little bit and go, look at these kids. They're so athletic. I told my kid after uh, my my boy after the basketball game last week. I said, son, you are cooler than I ever was. I just want you to know that. <laughs> like the way you play that game and the way you're so athletic. I'm just like, I'll teach you whatever dumb stuff I know. But you are awesome. You know. And so, hey, you know, passing it on. <laughs> Don't be like your dad. You'll be stuck in race. <laughs> Don't be like me. And when I was drinking really heavy, I'd tell them that all the time. I just want you all, I want you kids to know that this is wrong. What you're, what I'm doing right now is wrong. And uh, don't be like me. But so what do you, I, I just, I just have to do it. <laughs> what do you eat for breakfast? I mean, I've never been much of a breakfast. 
well, you know, today I had like an insane amount of calories at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you know, it just depends. You know what my preferred breakfast is? I like what? the uh, the two uh, breakfast burritos at McDonald's. That's like my favorite thing when I want to reward myself. And then I'll get uh, extra hash brown on that, you know, get the uh, orange soda. That's my that's my deal. Oh, I love that. Have you seen this? Um, the Taco Bell is actually um, serving breakfast in California. They've actually tried it. Have you seen this thing? The Taco Bell waffle waffle taco no steve do you have that picture pulled up why not do a breakfast burrito why would you do something stupid like a look at waffle? that uh, tell oh me my being on being on a diet does not like that that looks like fantastic dude what are they putting in the waffle what is that egg and sausage hey hey that's <laughs> that's a message from a wife that says walk away fatty so it's a fridge with a walk away fatty and a U, like a stick figure, a big fat stick figure on it. Is yeah. that your fridge? <laughs> yeah, it's my fridge. I live in like complete condemnation here, you know, because I'm fat. But yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah I've mean, thrown I've thrown off all those chains, and that's why my that's why my health is taking a nosedive. <laughs> it's like no, I'm not gonna would you, eat. Would what you you're eat making that waffle taco though? It looks actually pretty no, good. No, I'm not going to eat that. That looks disgusting. That's like uh, the the things that I won't eat. I don't like that sweet and 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 sweet and meaty thing or whatever. You know, I don't like the uh, what are those things at McDonald's? Like they're they're pancakes essentially with stuff inside them. Oh, uh, like the grillers or I don't know what they are. Yeah, but but, um, I, but I just don't like that. I don't want I don't want sweet and sausage and egg and syrupy. Uh, you know, I'll go for a breakfast burrito. That makes sense to me. I love that. I I kind of remember, you know, I remember we were out at a soccer game and we both just kind of looked at each other and, you know, we had, to, we had to make a change. Remember that time we went to the soccer game, we were talking about weight and then you I, I don't remember. What was I drunk? <laughs> I think so. And then you disappeared. And Steve, do you have that picture of uh, Eric, what happened at the soccer game? It was quite embarrassing. See if it was, see if Steve can pull it up. Yeah, I was just sitting there. I was talking to him, and then Eric completely disappears. He had too much to drink. This is when Eric realized he had a uh, some problems going on, and then he just, like, took off. <laughs> and I was like, there he is. There he is right there. He's on the field. There goes Eric. And, uh, yeah, you remember that? That was, that was good times, man. Yeah. If anybody is still listening on WLMN in West Virginia, you have to you have to go online to see this stuff. You yeah. got to go to uh, the Jeff Adams show TV and see the, uh, the giant hairy man uh, nude running across the soccer field, which, which was Jeff would, with, which Jeff would have you believe is me, but uh, I, I am much more troll like than that tall person. I hope you're not a troll. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're not because Steven might take you out with a uh, 45 or something. Ah, you're a troll. <laughs> yeah. He, he's no, no fan of the trolls. No, he's not. So, hey, we're going to take a quick break, man. It's been an interesting first 30 minutes here on the Jeff Adams Show with technology, gratefulness, and happiness, and all the bells and whistles <laughs> all going wrong at the same time. But we'll be right back after this short break. Your source for positive hip hop and R and B. Now on your smartphone or tablet, playing new music from Lecrae. The Rose. On our smartphone app, you'll get 24 7 streaming radio, interviews, videos, interact with other music fans, and get live TV broadcasts covering positive hip hop and RB events. Now, on the Apple iOS Store and Google Play, jam the hype, changing lives with positive hip hop and RB. 
now on your smartphone or tablet. Jam the Hype, your positive hip-hop and R&B channel. All right, so coming up on the Jeff Adams Show, we've got some talk about creativity. And once you're inspired, you're going to want to put your stuff online and share it with the world, and you're going to need a brand new website. And you're going to want to go to GoDaddy.com. We thank GoDaddy.com for being a proud sponsor of the Tech Buzz Network and the Jeff Adams Show. And tell you what, if you go to GoDaddy.com and use the promo code Jeff295. You're getting that new website, Jeff295. You use that, use that promo code, and you're going to get a deal. And uh, also, Jeff20 off for returning customers. You get 20% off anything you purchase from GoDaddy. So, GoDaddy, thank you very much. And we'll try to do a better show. You send us more money. <laughs> yeah. Let's give the guy with the standard definition camera some better inter in internets in uh, <laughs> HD camera. Uh, we, you know, we've been talking about, you know, getting in shape. And before we get into more serious segment of being creative and being just this, you know, craziness of being creatives and, and, and the mind warping thing, man, I'm still like paranoid from what happened, you know, 30 minutes in with the technology. I just felt like this kid, you know, I couldn't get Steve and I couldn't it get Steve. It feels Steven's horrible, just... doesn't it? It feels, yeah. I've, I've had that before, dude. When I was running a show for the talk show that I work on, Steve Brown, et cetera. You can yeah. check that out at stevebrownetc.com. I was running a show remotely and Steve was out in the mountains at some conference and the connection was so sketchy and oh. he's hosting this thing and we've got a show planned and we're plugging along and it all has to do with all the stuff that's going to go on out at this conference and these people who he's hanging out with. And I just lost the connection. And this is when we were doing the show live on the Radio America Network. And I was absolutely horrified that I had to carry this show. But on top of that, I'm having to troubleshoot and get the tech dealt with so that I can get uh, him back on the air and hosting the thing. It's like a double whammy. You're trapped. You can't, you can't, you know, it was like, what you, I go, I cut to break and play commercials for a half hour while you try to get the thing together. So just thank God you got Steven working on the tech, but I know exactly how you're feeling. I went home that night, a nervous wreck. I had a freaking panic attack and I'm just like, uh -huh, life is over. Yeah. You're only as good as your last show. You suck. Get drunk. <laughs> you know, I was sitting there thinking, it's like, man, if I was running the tech side and trying to figure it all out at the same time, how could you possibly host a show and do all that? Like, you know, no, you like, wouldn't, you just blow your head off. You just, you just like, you know what? I'm going to give you all something to watch right now. I'm done. Hey guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, 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 <laughs> let me tell you about my diet. Uh, let me tell you about my trainer. Uh, you got that video? Steven, where are you at? Hey, Steven, Steven, anybody? Very much. I got the, the 40 years in the wilderness on that one. God didn't speak to me. I'm like, God, where's, God? where's the tech God at? I don't speak to me. No, you cannot enter the. Oh, now he speaks. Cannot, okay. Where were you? you Where were you, man? Land. Now I'm becoming right. an atheist of the tech God. So, so uh, no, I, hey, we were talking I about losing a, weight. I want to take a shot at inspiring people, but you said you had some kind of, what, what do you got coming up here that you want to share? Yeah, I just, you the thing is, I'm, I'm, I just bought all these new t-shirts and stuff and they're already kind of loose. And I've got like, you, when you lose weight, you gain weight. I have this whole closet of like, okay, this fits, this doesn't fit. And you keep it just in case you want to go to McDonald's and live off McDonald's a week. So you keep these shirts yeah. over here and you keep these shirts over here. There's no yep. organization of what you're wearing because you might need a, you know, an XLT or you might just need a large <laughs> T. I've got a whole range of clothes. 
that goes all the way from like 210 all the way up to 253. <laughs> yeah, so the biggest thing is is clothes. Let's watch this clip on being a man and clothes. Check this out. There's no audio. Oh. Oh, we won't get yanked off our YouTube. There's no audio. All right, stop playing that clip. Just stop. Just stop it. We're crying out loud. <laughs> this show is a mess. See, it this is, is a hot this, mess. this is why this show is unwatchable. <laughs> it totally is. You know, no, it's not God, Steven's fault. Not it's all Jeff's fault. Wired stuff to play videos. That's what I'm sure that was uh, really fun for WLMN in West Virginia. Yeah, there was like complete silence. Okay, we lost all of them now. Oh, that's no great. One speaks. So, uh, so I'm having let's a hard time thinking. believing they're still with us. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go on about stuff that we're actually good at. Yeah, uh, is uh. And you wouldn't know this by watching the show. It's creative stuff. You were just watching these guys, and you're saying, these guys just think they're creative, but they're not because the, everything's going wrong. But let's, see, let's get a little serious here. I mean, we, we've had some fun, and it's been an, No, it's, we haven't. But this has been absolute hell. But, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh. This hasn't been fun. Don't lie to yourself, and don't lie to the audience. <laughs> you don't have to. It's like, we all know this sucks. Just go oh. with it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm <laughs> all right. So here's 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 something here's something that we do know uh, about, and that's pain, pain and suffering, and embarrassment, and uh, that's what I've been writing about at themerrymonk.com. And what I'm claiming is that pain is your friend. Pain is your friend. Sometimes, what do you think about that, Jeff? Sometimes it's your friend. It's not your friend when everything goes wrong. No. It is your friend. You have to welcome pain because pain comes to you and tells you this is where stuff is broken. And uh, this, is, this is stuff you got to watch out for. So it comes, it comes to you and says, you need to plan your show better. <laughs> See? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Pain. Now, I'm trying. Pain, I prep. I prep. Pain, pain. is going to gonna come to you and go, and it's going to go, you should not have the Merry Monk as a co-host because he's in standard definition. <laughs> and you should not have him as a co-host because his wireless connection at Key Life Network sucks because they're broke and won't pay for more <laughs> bandwidth. See, pain, pain is very helpful. Very helpful. And, and if you will just listen, instead of trying to run from it, trying to cover it up with this BS, like, well, we've had a lot of fun. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we had a blast growing we, up. We, we had a blast sucking for an hour. No. <laughs> hey, chipper, so, chipper, chipper. That was a but, great show, wasn't it, guys? No, but here's I'm going to go get drunk now. <laughs> but here's the thing. You can't avoid pain. The world is too jacked up. It's just nothing is perfect. Nothing's going to go just the way. Even if you had impeccable uh, uh, planning and you were just top-notch planning and you had a real co-host with a real internet connection, <laughs> <laughs> it's still yeah, <laughs> it's still going to, to hand you some curveballs. You're still going to suffer. And so I instead of avoiding pain, I like these I I'm saying you should welcome it and... I'm saying the goal is not to numb it, not to drink it away, not to, you know, uh, busy yourself with, and I'm talking about physical, emotional, whatever kind of pain. The goal is to redeem the pain. This is what I'm offering to you. Redeem. And you've experienced this, you've experienced this already with your midlife crisis. You come to this place where you're living in this haze. You're living in this, this dull uh, torture. You 
hate going to work every day or whatever, you know, you were into. I wasn't, but now I am. With all this stuff going on, this is no way to live. <laughs> well, see, but now, see, now you're out here on the edge, man. Now you're out here in the wilderness. Now you are on an adventure because you said, instead of this boring life that I'm, that I'm leading, I want to get out there and I'm going to start podcasting. And I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to get out there. I'm going to do a video show and, and things are going to start happening. And so all of a sudden you become this character. You're somebody who wants something and is going to, and is going to overcome adversity to get it. And you're going to be transformed in the process, you see? And, and life is, is now no longer monotonous. Now life is exciting with you hanging out there uh, all alone on your show that you started. Hey, we've got a caller. You're on the Jeff Adams Show. Hola. Yes, uh, this is uh, Roger Blake uh, calling from WLMN Radio. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm really sorry that we have made such a mess on your radio station today, sir. This is the Merry Monk of Love. And uh, <laughs> I, I apologize for the train wreck. Oh, yeah. It's mostly my fault. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, um, uh, I was uh, just uh, want to see if possibly how... Um, how to embed uh, the the, the uh, code uh, on uh, into the uh, Sam broadcaster. All right. Well, what you're going to need is an XP39 space modulator. Okay. And uh, you're going <laughs> to need the uh, the 25 bit frame background rate. If you don't have that set up, you're in huge kimchi deep problems. I see. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Was there any way that uh, you all could possibly come up with some type of uh, link? Like, I know that um, the National Weather Service, for example, um, they have a link to where at the end of it, it has the MP3 written. And it, 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 I guess somehow I, I'm really not too educated on it, but I'm learning. But it, it works with the Sam broadcaster in order to feed that in live. And all you do, oh, well, all I would do here at the station is just program it. It feeds in live, and then it, it automatically it sets it off and it updates itself. All right. Well, that's actually that's another department. I'm going to have to transfer you to uh, Stephen Haywood for the the, the in depth. Uh, interpretation of what I had already laid out for you, but uh, okay, if, if you okay. can, if you can uh, call back at another time, like his personal number, then okay, uh, okay. we're gonna rock that for you. Yeah, I mean, all we okay. know is I appreciate man. that. All right, man, and and I uh, keep up the great show. Really, really, really appreciate the show, and you do a heck of a job. Well, we're, we're getting better, and uh, thanks for saying that. You're a gracious, yep. man. All right, yep. take take uh -huh. care. Thank all right, you. now we won't go kill ourselves. <laughs> God, Stephen Haywood like shoot me. Hey, I'm a troll. Okay. Stephen, shoot me. So back to what I was saying. Man, what was that about? I don't know. It's I don't know what's going on. I wanted I this plant. Out. I thought I you were gonna pain. I, I, I thought you were gonna pass it on to me when that guy called and I was gonna mess with him. I was like, hello. Yes, what you need is one of those little trees <laughs> like Eric has in front of him. That will actually broadcast it out to the RSS feed that you need. That's all you need. So the show is going down. I'm going to hide behind my plant. Like, somebody I save my me. Plants. My plants. I need my plants. Go get your plant. It, right, yes, so I'm you telling just, you. You were saying. The, the plant, I'm tell no, here's the thing, Jeff. The plant in the foreground really helps. It's like a security blanket. You need to go get your plant. You need to bring it up front, man, so that you can hide, yeah, about, hide, hide behind it when things start going bad, when you get left all alone on the show. You know, like when y'all was singing and stuff, you were like, hang on to your microphone. That was like security blanket. You know, it's like, you can't really hang on to your mic. So what, what can I hold a pen? Uh, oh, a, it's cigarette, plan. I have a cigarette just sitting here. That's not lit. You know, I could just hold that or something. I don't know, man. Okay. So the, here's the deal. Pain. You're not going to avoid pain. So you're going to have to redeem it. And, uh, I I've got redeeming the pain part one and part two up at the marymonk.com. You can read some thoughts on this. Uh, but here's where it's relevant to creativity. And I'm going to get to this in uh, Redeeming the Pain Part 3. Creativity is, is uh, uh, 
the, the soil from which, which, which uh, creative expression grows is a lot of the time pain. I mean, you think about the blues. You think about this band that I just found, uh, Typhoon. Uh, I heard about them on NPR. And uh, it's, it's, it, it, you connect with other people when, when the, you, you hear them being honest about the human condition, about what they've suffered, and uh, they've been in touch with it. If you don't get in touch with it, I mean, if you don't dive deep into it, then there's no way you can be intimate enough with your pain to express it in a creative way and then to provide like a catharsis or, or a, um, a connection with other people where they hear that and they go, oh, me too. And then all of a sudden, there's this, this thing that happens where the pain's redeemed. And, and instead of it just being this brutal thing that knocks you down, you put it out there and then you morph it into something where you're connected. Like it happened here on this show, Jeff, I could relate to you as you uh, were standing there going, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm holding the show. You know, he's hiding behind his glasses <laughs> and, and I could go, yes, I see that on your show. I feel your pain because I have felt that pain. And I go, this is reality right here. This I'm podcast, pain. this I podcast, eyes. This podcast is pain in standard definition, and I like it because I am a person who lives in standard definition. I do not live in high definition. I'm not fancy. I don't have a bunch of awards behind me. I don't got a great set, but ah, look at this. And so, see, something magical happens, and, and, it, and the creativity is birthed from it. But if you go around ignoring your pain all the time, you're just going to be a schmaltzy, Hey, didn't we have a great show? Rod just said in the chat room, he says, Eric needs a bigger plant. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, this is my security blanket. Maybe I'll just wear my sunglasses. You know, yeah. you, can't, you, can't see, you can't see my eyes. It's not personal. And uh, I'm in pain. It's, it's a way to hide. Did you ever notice a lot of artists? That's what I used to do. I used to wear sunglasses on stage, too. I noticed a lot of artists hide behind sunglasses. Yeah. I have noticed that. And you hide your eyes. Did you find what I said helpful at all, Jeff? Yeah, I feel so much better. I just put my sunglasses on because I don't want you to see that. You know what? I weighed 225, Eric. I was lying to you. I weighed 225. 225. You don't weigh 225. Yeah, I just, want, I just wanted your weight. That's all. See, I'm not being <laughs> so real you right suck now. Me, you suck me into being a, uh, admitting I'm a fat blob? No, I, I you know, I'm just... It's just, I was, it's a little bit, it, it didn't, it didn't go well, but, uh, yeah, I, it does help. It does help. Um, I don't know if it, ha it helps me the last two days where I'm at, but, uh, you know, oh, well, the next time you feel pain, you remember this, you remember what I told you. Yeah, I will remember it, but it's a little bit different for me because when you, when you hit those peaks of pain, you know, when I was, you know, writing oh, music, yeah. performing music, you have the ability to tap into your pain and your creativity when right. you're doing I guess I, I guess we did that today because I'm in complete pain. We did pain. tap into it. Yeah. We did I'm in, tap into it. Yeah. I'm in complete, uh, you know, I'm in complete pain doing this, you know, freaking podcast today. This is but pain. Look at it. It's, but look at it. It's turning into a show. Now it's material. It, you've got sunglasses. You've got a plant. You've got me hiding behind my hat. You've got uh, a, 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 a live illustration of everything that I've taught you today. Through the, through the lines, I think that's a plant. Is that a bush? Wait a minute. HBO's scrambled. Hang on. Is that a bush? Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, it is a bush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm really glad I could help. You know, it, when, when the pain is, star, is, is less acute, then uh, I invite you to go to themerrymonk.com and read those things and meditate on them when, when you're not, um, you're not no, rising. It's, 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 it's very insightful. It's very insightful. I mean, pain is something everybody deals with. And some, some cope with it really bad. Some cope really well with it. And uh, I think I'm in the middle. I don't know how to really process it. Um, yeah, I, well, nobody likes it. No, no one likes it. It's just the way you communicate it. And I think being a creative person, the best way you can possibly do is, is be creative with it somehow. And yeah. I, I don't know what that is for me right now. I thought it was just, you know, I guess it's this podcast. I just, I guess no, I'll. But we have done that. We I'll did put, do that. Yeah. Sorrow to this podcast, and I'll just be miserable, and I'll be a miserable guy, and I will reflect my my pain through this podcast. But you've already done that because 
the show is partly about your midlife crisis and how creativity is helping you pull through it. And so you've already shown how this pain can be redeemed, this, this midlife crisis, into something that uh, is, a, is something that has never existed before. The Jeff Adams show with the Merry Monk is a, is a brand new thing, man. There's something new going on here. There's something happening. It's exciting. Fresh. It's, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, UHF, it might be imp- it's VHF a little bit, you know? It, it, might, it might be impossible to watch or listen to, but, uh, but you're on an adventure. You are on an adventure, my friend. And, and you know what? That's better. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you some great words right here. All right, go ahead. I was, I was telling a friend these great words the other day. Here it is. I think the bush is blinding your sight. I can see fine. Here, oh. come, the great, <laughs> here come the great words. I want you to leave that man up and imagine him speak, the nude man on the soccer field, and imagine him speaking these words to you. That Jeff. Is you. Ready? You're speaking to me nude. Go. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, nude. No, who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who, at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. There you go. I'm going to cry. It's just the way you read it. I wanted to go to sleep because I felt like a little kid again. You, you opened up my childlike creativity. I was just sitting there, and you... you you had me memorize, mesmerize where it took me Why to. Why did a, you want to go to sleep? Because you're, the, your the way was, I read that, did yeah. I not read it well? I mean, no, you read it fantastic. You read it fantastic. It was very peaceful. Yet, oh, I, you oh. know, it put me in a state where I was very relaxed. I think it was the most relaxed I've been in the last 45 minutes. I mean, oh. you have a, seriously, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Josh, and you have a really, really great gift, man, of communication. And, and the way you communicate, and I'm so glad that you're coming out with a book. I mean, I'm so happy for it because you deserve <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? It's like those were know- the words. Those were the words of Theodore Roosevelt, delivered in uh, Paris, France, April 23rd, 1910. Right. Hey, so you, you, you just know, remember I, that when you're failing, at least you're doing something, man. You're not sitting there on your couch playing video games or. Yeah. You know, burning brain cells. You're you're out here creating. You're you're transforming your midlife crisis into something that we can all relate to, and that's know, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to make you feel any better, but you know, Ron just posted in the chat room. He says, "Oh, I'm drunk." <laughs> Good for <laughs> you, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Dude, I wish I was drunk, man. That's that's the secret of the show. It's like you know, 30 minutes before the Jeff Adams show starts up, you just you gotta you gotta start have drinking. A- that's that's right. Yeah. You want this show to be good? You want this sh- you drink this show pretty. You and then it won't matter. <laughs> Wait, I ha- I have an announcement. I have an announcement. All right. It won't this. matter if I'm in standard definition cuz right. it's your high definition, man. I have an announcement. And this goes to anybody out there. that says this show sucks. <laughs> I agree with you 110%. Yes. So, the trolls out there that want to talk bad about the show, have at it. Because, yes. in the end, you know, you are right, my friend, but we will grow from this. So you don't have to yes. publicize it. In fact, you don't even have to watch it. In fact, let me save yourself 45 minutes to an hour of your time. Just don't even watch the show. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do me a favor and don't watch the show. I know I yes. suck. For crying out loud, I, I know it. You don't have to yeah. tell me. But I'm going to yes. tell you, wait, I encourage it also. I encourage it also. If they do tell me to suck, guess what? You created a war, my friend. And when you create a war, I will win. And I'm going to make you feel so small, 
so small of your fraction of your life that you can <laughs> never mess with Jeff Adams, my friend. Because guess what? Until you start doing this and step up to the plate, you're yes. nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're I a critic. S- that's right. You're, you're a critic. Absolutely nothing. It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, and that's Jeff Adams. Which I was in an arena all alone for a good 10 minutes, or maybe it was 30 minutes, but it seemed like eternity. I couldn't hear from the tech god. I couldn't hear from Eric. You I were was all alone. alone in the arena with people yes. watching me and no direction. And suffering. Was, you were suffering. I was in a panic mode. My hands were sweating. It's like, yes. why did I put myself in this situation? Because why? Pain, creativity, they go hand in hand. Left, yeah. right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pain boom, boom, boom. I was there, Eric. I was there today. I was all alone. Yeah. And it's not, a, it's not a very good feeling. I know no, it's people sucked. Bible when God went quiet on them. I know exactly yeah. how they feel because I was all alone. But I now, now alone. it's redeemed. But now it's redeemed. See, look, you, you, look how inspired you are now. You're a free man now. You can admit your own failure. And you can get back here next week, and you can do another show. Who cares? I don't know. I'm doing a. I'm doing a show. I got a show. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to think about this. I just. I don't know. What are you gonna quit? Gonna, no, I'm not gonna quit. I'm just. I, I think I'm gonna get an actor to be Jeff Adams. It's. It's the only sensible way. It's at least I can talk. I, at least I won't leave him hanging. I'll talk in his ear and say, "Hey, look. Shh, shh, shh. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. No. Yeah. yeah. You know All what? That is. I, I'll, I'll tell joke. you. I'll tell you what. I, I, that is, that is uh, one, of my, uh, one of my weaknesses, one of my defense mechanisms. I, uh, I will always default, if I'm not careful, I will always default to being the guy that helps the guy. Right. You know what I mean? I will always be uh, you know, sooner the co-host than the host or the, or the producer rather than the guy who's, who's out there. And it is. It's a, it's a defense mechanism. And, and, and I do not serve the world well by playing small. And this is part of my, where I've said, you know, I'm going to create some inciting incidents. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to do a show. I'm going to have a blog. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do these things. And, and it's going to be scary as hell. But I'm going to do them because I want a life that is filled with adventure and fun and not boring and crushed by fear. Well, you need to go HD. I'm going to challenge <laughs> you right now. But you Watch us fail it. in HD. Yeah. You know, I don't think HD would have saved us today. But, you know, all jokes aside, uh, it's always a learning experience doing this live. It's always fun. And I <laughs> do it fun because it is. Because you got to stay on your toes, man. you got to well, stay it was on redeemed. Your- and the more I realize that I think I, ha- I have it, you know, figured out, I don't. You know, I got to no. get in shape. And the best way you get in shape is you put in your work. And that's what we're doing yeah. right here, my friends. We're putting in Every work. week. We Every do. week. And it might have not been pretty, this Jeff Adams show, number 21, but we put in work, my friends. And guess what? We when work. you put in work, you only get better and better and better. And guess what? We're going to become buff. We're going to become big. And sooner or later, that workout's going to make Eric's camera become HD and send, the fulfilling send on, the money. Te- on, the, on the tech side, the fulfilling of the tech side with the video, it's all going to start balancing out. But you know, we're brand new at this. Have at it, my friends. Critique the show. Do whatever the hell you want to do with it. Because guess what? I'm doing this for me, baby, and only for me. And if I wasn't doing it for me, you know, I wouldn't be doing it. So there you go. If I'm happy, I'm happy. That's my end result. So screw off all you critics. Go suck a big one. I've created a a monster now. (laughs) And have a nice one. God bless you. God bless you. That wasn't the end? No, it was. (laughs) That was was really the end. Yeah. The end. Look what these trolls did to me. Steven, I need to borrow some guns. Crying out loud. Jeff, out. 